So welcome, one and all. We are on page 15a in the Gemara of Masechet Rosh Hashanah. And uh, let's continue our discussion. Um, I didn't mention it last time, but I'll point it out now. The fact that we're having all these conversations about etrog and etrogim, you planted it in the sixth year, uh, the chanata, the flowering took place in the sixth year, you picked it in the seventh year, right? What kind of kedusha does it have for this, for that? You understand that the etrog is in a, I would say, a unique category unto itself. It's an amalgam of different types of vegetation uh, right there facing us. Yeah, that's Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, well, that's where that came from. So uh, we should recognize also <clears throat> there are certain halachot that obtain in the year of Shemitah, the year after Shemitah, particularly when we buy an etrog. So have a little bit in mind some of the things that we're learning here. Give us an, some insight into the year. Next time there'll be Shemitah and after Shemitah, right? It might be the year after Shemitah, but the fruit is from the year before. Yeah. So so it could it could be. There's different different halachot uh, with that to uh, to keep in mind. What we'll see tonight is on page 15a. Um, we're at uh, at the words Ama Raba Etrog Bat Shishit Shnichem Salishvit. It's uh, about halfway down the page, just a, a, above the halfway mark. I would say the first words on the line are Acha Rov Shanim, period, and then it's Ama Raba. We start from there, Ama Raba, page 15a. Ama Raba Etrog Bat Shishit Shnichem Salishvit. Betur Min Maaser Uptur Min Abior Ubat Shvit Shnichem Salishminit Betur Min Maaser Vachev Abior. This requires some elucidation to try to understand what's uh, what's happening here. Rabba wants to make distinctions between a, um, a, a, a an etrog from year six that goes into the seventh year, which would mean the chanata, the flowering took place in the sixth year, but it was picked in the seventh year. And then the same thing, but shifted down one year, chanata in the seventh year, picked in the eighth year. Already a question? Yeah. Which year defined by what? Right. Exactly. Well, oh, sorry. We're here. We seem to be talking specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 this one seems to be, uh, we talk about Shvit and, and, and Shminit. Sounds like we're talking about Rosh Hashanah. Now, the reason why this is relevant is because we said before that Etrog has qualities that remind us of a tree. But it also had a few things that remind us of a yarek, of a vegetable. Remember? And we'd had that discussion previously on 14b. We had Rabban Gamliel and we had uh, Rabbi Eliezer, right? Uh, Rabbi, Rabban Gamliel thought that it was mostly the same, uh, but uh, but that there was a distinction. He thought Etrog is like a, that was on page 14b, four lines down. I was quoting a Mishnah in Bikurim. Etrog shavu le'ilan begimel drachim le'yarek b'derek echad. Orla, Revai, and Shvit. But those three things just like a tree. Now, when it comes to trees, it's true that trees go by Tubishvat for their Rosh Hashanah. When we talk about the issue of Orla, we talk about uh, Maser, things like that. But for trees. But when we talk about Shvit, even for trees, Shemitah has an, a starting point, which is Alaf Tishrei, and an end point, which is the end of that year, you know, Chavtat uh, Elul the following year. And this where he he uh, uh Gamliel throws in isuro. Whenever you pick the the etrog, that's when it's going to be it's time for Maser. And there the line is not Rosh Hashanah, but ends up in the discussion of the Gemara ends up being Shvat. Rabbi Eliezer disagreed, and he says It's exactly like a tree for all things. Uh, which means that according to Rabbi Eliezer, we had seen the line between one year and the next is also Shvat when it comes to Maser. But it's not a question when you picked it, it's a question of when the Chanata had happened prior to Tubi Shvat, after Tubi Shvat. What we're discussing tonight is something a little bit different. Pardon? The flower that comes, that blossoms and then falls off before the fruit shows up. What we're discussing tonight is the transition from year six into year seven which means going into Shemitah, which means Rosh Hashanah is all of Tishrei here, versus seventh year, going into the eighth year again with that dividing line of Tishrei. The 
idea of Rabbah that we learn here is concerning the nafkamino, the practical differences between two concepts, maser and bior. Maser means just that. It's the tithe that has to do with some year of the tithe. So every year, other than Shemitah, there's going to be a tithe, other than Shemitah. On those years, there's going to be a primary tithe, 10% going to the Levi. Obviously, sorry, a little bit goes to the Kohen. That's actually Midor um, Raita, not so defined. We generally say it's like 1 50th, it's 2%, it's very little. That goes to the Kohen. Then 10% of whatever's left goes to the, of whatever that you have left goes to the um, Levi. And then, depending on the year of the six year cycle where you're allowed to indulge in the fruits after you've tithed them, we have. Years one, two, four, and five, the secondary tithe goes to Yerushalayim. You take the fruit or you transfer the Kedusha of the fruit onto money. You bring the money to Yerushalayim next time you're going to be there. Or in years three and six, Master Ani, you can take the fruit and give it to poor people, the secondary tithe. So that's a, that obtains in years one, two, three, four, five, six. In year seven, you don't take tithes. You're allowed to go into the um, into the field and you're allowed to just pick a fruit off the tree and eat it as Kedusha. But you can take the fruit off the tree and eat it. The problem is you can't bring a, a, a basket and fill it up or a bag and fill it up with things because then once you bring it home, that's subject to the tithes. There are no tithes on Shemitah. You're not allowed to do that on Shemitah. And you'll ask me how to do it. So that's where Hetem Mechira comes from. And that's the Otsar Beitin, which I'm more partial to than the Hetem Mechira if we can rely on it. Um, and so on and so forth. Yuvul Nochri, less partial to that. So there's different patentim so that people could actually eat fruits and vegetables. Otherwise, what they would need to do is just literally go out to fields, pick whatever you need in your hand. You could just eat it, but you can't start bringing bundles and baskets and whatnot. Now, that's only in the seventh year, obviously. Other years, individuals own the fruits. There's no such thing as a hefker of the fruits. One of the halachot about Shemitah is also that you're allowed to have, it's based on the psukim, you're allowed to have those fruits or vegetables in your house that you have uh, uh, picked, you know, the individual, et cetera, only until such time as they are still out in the field being consumed by the, the beasts of the field. But after a certain point, the fruit would have already rotted. It would no longer be produced. It would have been eaten by animals. Every um, uh, piece of vegetation that's edible has like a different cutoff time. I'm not well versed enough in the halacha from a pack perspective myself because how many times was I ever there in Shemitah? Visits, you know, whatever. So the, at the shot Bior, anyone who has these fruits in their house has to get rid of them from their house. Um, back in the day, it was either eat them or uh, uh, throw them out. Today, symbolically, people will put it outside of the house. That's Bior. It's a, slide, it's a, uh, a sliding uh, time frame. It's not one day. Depends on the fruit. The best with our charts, they give out every time to figure out when it's no longer in the field. That doesn't obtain... It, for things that came from year six, only for things that that pertain to year seven. You with me? So now, year six, Maser. Year seven, Bior. But what about something that has partially grown in year six, and now you're harvesting it in year seven? Well, if it's a regular fruit, it's not so complicated. The fruit, if it grew in year seven, you didn't bring a whole bundle of it to your house because you're not allowed. So you would have done that in year six, right before Rosh Hashanah started, which means that fruit grew in year six, right? That fruit is not subject to Bior because it has no Kedushat Shvit. But it is subject to Maser. And the converse is true as well. If the fruit, uh, right? When you get to Etrog, Etrog's in some middle category. We just finished saying. According to Rabban Gamliel, it's like a, a, a vegetable in one way. It goes according to when you pick it. That'll tell you what what a basket it goes in in terms of the tithes that you're going to have to take. According to Abedeezer, it's totally like a tree. There's no distinction. Raba enters the mix here. I'm a Raba, Etrog Bat Shishit. So it's from the sixth year. Shenichon Selesvit goes into the seventh year when it enters the uh, the, se the seventh uh, the seventh year. So what happens, right? Petura mina Maser, Uptura mina Beer. It's not going to be subject to Maser, because now it's at least according to Rabbi Gamliel, the shot isuro. It's like a lakita. You you take it's from you take it in the seventh year, but when you pick it in the seventh year, it didn't grow in the seventh year. It's because it grew in the sixth year. 
Understand? No, it didn't get Kedushat Shvit because it was related to what came before. At the same time, he mysteriously thinks it's also Ptura Mina Bior because it's not really related to the world of Shmita. It's from the year before. So the Lakita means the Maser, that Lakita, the Maser goes according to one of you, pick it. So now it's year seven. There's no Maser in year seven. And there's no Bior because the fruit had a Hanata already before. It's kind of like playing both sides, right? It's both a fruit and a vegetable. So he really holds that way. Uh, there will be challenges to this, but that's at least his uh, his um, his his theory. What? How could you pick more? Be, 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 because this fruit is not a seventh year fruit. It's a sixth year fruit. It came for this. It's from the sixth year. That's the unique thing about this, right? Saying it's one out of three out of four. Uh. So, so he 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 had he had this idea because of the fact that the way Rashi puts it on the Adonim and Bet is because of the way that it grows. There was two different ways. It's al kol mayim. We had this whole thing with how it, how the water interacts with it, whether it's just rainwater, or you also have to irrigate it. So, because it was in the category al kol mayim, which was already discussed in fourteen, I don't go too far back, but on fourteen a, we had the discussion yurakot argedelim al meishana haba'a. We tasan shana haba'ah. Rabbi Kiva, right? There was this discussion that we'd had previously. Yeah, how much, what kind of water is it needed? And vegetables were different than fruits, and etrog is unique among the fruits in this way. It mimics vegetables. So for now, we'll say only etrog. But in the back of the Masifta Gemara, there's like a whole analysis: Are lemons in the same category for this purpose as etrogim or not, and other citrus fruits? So. We'll table it for now, but it's it's a shila. Right, for the seventh from the seventh year, etrog. It's pro, it has kedushat shvi'it. Uh, or you could pick like one, and you could have it. Right, but then right, but then what would he do? Right, but R- Raba is basically coming in to say, and Raba don't forget Namora. So you know, Galil is already was a Tana. So Rabbah says in Etrog Bat Shishit, if you look at Rashi, it's the right near the, at the top of the of the of the narrow lines of Rashi. It's maybe one, two, three, four lines down in the narrow lines. Ama Rabba Etrog Bat Shishit Shachanta Bishishit Petura Mina Maser. The coming first time the Kula Milta. Further along, it'll explain this idea about why that's true. I already told you. I gave you coming attractions, but Rashi says you have to wait. I should have waited probably. Now go back to the uh, to the to the to the Gemara. So again, Rabbah said, I'm reading it again. Amar Rabbah, etrog, bat shishit, shemichel sal shvit, p'tur min amasir, p'tur min abiyor. U bat shvit, shemichel sal shminit, if it was, it had its chanata in the seventh year, and then it entered into the eighth year, p'tur abimasir, how come it's p'tur abimasir? Because when you pick it, now it seems like Rabbi Eliezer, because Rabbi Eliezer is just like a tree, goes by chanata. If the chanata was in the seventh year, so there was no masir, Based on the fact that the Hanata happened when it happened, not Rabbi Gamliel, it's Rabbi Gamliel. And, and, and it's Chayav and Biur. Why is it Chayav and Biur? Because it's a product of the seventh year. So it has Kedushat Shvit. Ah, it's not Shmini, is it Shmita anymore? Doesn't matter. The Kedushat Shvit endures. It's inherent in the object. Now, you have to, it's subject therefore to Biur. So now, Amrle Abai, Abai said to Rabbah, remember they were kind of related, right? Um, uh, Rabbah was the, Abai's uh, essentially adoptive father. Anyway, he was his uncle, but his adoptive father. So I'm going to buy a bishul on a seifa lechumra. I understand that the, the seifa you're going lechumra. El areish p'tura min abiur amai. How could it be that areish your p'tura min abiur? How is that possible? You could be putter from the uh, from the need to do biur. After all, it is the seventh year. I think um, I think you tried to ask the question a minute ago, and I just was like, hmm. But now we're at it. Okay, right? Amai, right? Damrin and zil butter chanata. Right, we are, don't we go according to the when the when the chanata happens? So if there's chanata, so if if the chanata happened already in the sixth year, so now shouldn't it be obligated in maser? Right? Why why did you why did why did you why, why did you say that it's not going to be chayv and maser? So the answer that he gives that Raba gives is amar le yada kol mashmashin ba vat amar tichayv maser. Everybody's putting their grubby hands on it. In the seventh year, 
What does that mean? Since all the fields are hefker, people walk through the field and they just touch things. They put their hands on. Apparently, it damages the etrog tree when you do this. So since everybody's already doing that, isn't it obvious that since people are doing that, that's a sign that it's hefker, just like all the other fruits? It might have some other status in some way, but I could be chayv and maser. Chayv and maser means that no one touches it because it's tevel, but it's not, obviously they don't think it's tevel because they're picking it off the tree themselves because it's shmita. They don't know the chanat to happen before. They clearly don't hold that. If you look at, um, if you look at Rashi, he gives us a little bit of the elucidation here. Rashi, it's a long Rashi. Amr abai bishlam a seifa. All right? Again, uh, ab- uh, just to say it outside. Abaya says to Rabbah, why are you saying that when you go from year six into year seven, the biur should be petura? Shouldn't you be obligated in, in biur? After all, it was presumably picked in the seventh year, but you're saying petura, somehow it's connected, something happened before, right? So if uh, we go according to Hanata, so then why is it pater from maser? And it should be chayv in maser. You can't, in other words, if you want to see it as uh, two lights, you can have one light on and one light off. You can't have both lights off. One has to be on if one of the other is off. Because it's two different years, we're saying it's two different dates. So, and Rabbi answers, no, the fact that everyone's touching it, so that shows that it's hefker. I wouldn't have normally said that. I would have said, yeah, it's chayv in the biur. But the truth is, if everybody's touching it, it shows that it's hefker, like everything else. So that's it. Um, yeah. I don't understand. If the Rakita occurred in year eight, that's the next case. Yeah. Wait. No, no, you uh, said, according to Rabbah, if the Kita happened in year eight, so then you're going to be putter from the Maser, because it happened in year seven, that the Hanata happened, but the picking was in year eight, and you're chayv, you seem to be Chayv in the Biur. So there also, what, you're Chayv in the Biur? If it's year eight, you're out of my, you're out of your Shemitah. Shemitah. You're out of Shemitah. Right. The point is, though, that it flowered in year seven, therefore it's considered a product of year seven. And it inheres but within the uh, within the fruit even afterward. But that completely overturns Rabbi He doesn't necessarily have to agree with Rabbi Gamliel. I was just giving you an example that there was case precedent for someone who thought that there were different dates. If, say, Petro is like any other tree, then it would be uh, Hanata. That yeah. Stand. Yeah. So if the Hanata occurred in, in Shvi, that's fine. I understand that. Yeah. So this is Rabba and it's about to be Rav Himnuna. I just brought in Rabbi Gamliel because referencing our discussion from last time that Rabbi Gamliel thinks there are certain aspects of it that are like a fruit, some that are like a vegetable. And Rabbi Eliezer disagreed with that completely. In Rabba's view, it's just saying if you hold that there's some significance to Hanata and you hold the significance to the Lakita, it seems to be a Liba de Rabbi Gamliel, then what happens if they straddle two different years and one of those years is Shemitah? Can't have both lights on or off. It's one or the other. So, 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 so the, re- the, the, the reason why they're both off, the reason why it's going to be Petura in the end, is that the fact that everyone's touching it on Shemitah shows that really it was Hefker. So you can't give, you can't obligate someone in Maser if the people understand intuitively that the, the Etrog is uh, Hefker, like everything else is Hefker. Maser definitionally is only required on something that is actually off limits to people to use because yeah. it has ownership so in this case when i own it i have to give maser no one owns it everybody's touching it seems to me that since we don't do a lot of based on the way the masses behave right but the masses are behaving such that they're touching it with the idea that it's tough care and therefore right the wheel is completely knocked out well, don't, never mind, I mean, well, even Rabba wanted to say it seemed to have something to do with picking. Even Rabba wanted to say that, right? You have year six into year seven, you're putter from Aser, putter from Bior. Then Rabba said from year seven to year eight, you're putter from Aser and you're five in Bior. Same principle of people handling this would apply to all fruits. Okay, so turns out, first of all, Etrig is unique in that regard. But we have to fill this out. You're asking excellent questions. Let's look inside in Rashi to try to fill out some of the pieces. No, no, okay. So we'll, I'll try. I'll try to clarify. Uh, you had one side of say something, Ira? No, I was going to say that where the etro is, what Larry was saying, the etro is is in a unique category. The meaning that yeah. it's for it's you know it's hefker is forbidden in, in the t- sense that because it's during the uh, uh, the shemitah year, yeah, so you can't you can't use it. 
I think the Hefter case, we could put on the side. Because the Hefter case is an exception to whatever it would be, right? I mean, it's- But it might impact the bottom line rule. I understand, but that rule is overlaid under what it is, right? It's like saying, you know, I'm going to do whatever unless I have the flu. I mean, it-, it Murphy, um, Wait, let's finish, yeah. No, I'm just saying there's a rule about intro. The fact that a bunch of yes. people start touching it yeah. puts it in a different case and it is an ex that makes it an exception to whatever the rule would be if no one does. Right. So 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 let me let me try to clarify it a little a little bit a little bit better. Yeah. The 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 um the case the case is year six into year seven, and the case right next to it is year seven into year eight. So in year seven into year eight, Rabba says, you're putter from Maser and Chayev and Bior. Why? Because in year seven, when this thing flowered, it was a year when nobody owns anything. So anything that flowers in that year or the fruit grows in that year, no one owns anything. You don't take Maser on it. However, unlike other fruits that are going to, at the end of the season, just die, Etrog has this property that it lives much longer. Hadar, Bi'ilan, Shanal, Shanat can go a long time. So you didn't pick it at all during the year of Shemitah, but that is when it started growing. Now the year after Shemitah, you go to the garden and you pick the etrog. You're not obligated in Maser because when the fruit grew, it grew in the year of Shemitah when no one owned anything. The plums from year seven in year eight, they have the Kedusha of Shvid as well, but they're not going to be around a year later. No one's going to be thinking about them because they don't last. But the etrog does. It'll just stick around. So in year eight, this object, this etrog, that's why it's sort of like a good test case because it has you could you could show it in, in in both rears, both crop years. In year seven, it was nobody's property, so it's putter from Aser. And in year eight, it's chayev in biur because it's something that still heralds from year seven. It's a holdover. It's one of the only things that will still survive. So that kind of is internally coherent. But if we take this model, seven to eight, and we say Potter and Maser, Chayev and Bior, and we slide it over by one year, and we say the Hanata was in year six, when you're supposed to be Chayev and Maser, year six, and then in year seven, you picked it. Now, when you picked it in year seven, it wasn't really a fruit of year seven. It was really a fruit that had been existing from year six. So when you pick it in year seven, it's not really a fruit of Shemitah. It didn't grow that year. It grew from the year before. You should be Pator, therefore, in Bior. And that's what Rabba says. But the curious thing is, he doesn't say, we expected him to say, that you should be Chayev in Maser because it actually started growing in the sixth year when you were Chayev in Maser. You didn't take the Maser then. How come? So enter Rabban Gamliel, because when it comes to Etrog, maybe we're waiting until whenever you pick it. And you chose to pick it in the seventh year. It's the only fruit. All the other fruits in the seventh year, the oranges, the apples, the strawberries, the oh, strawberries, no. Well, but yeah, I guess. They all grew that year. So they're, they're Shemitah objects right there, but not the Etrog, which you knew was already there from last year. So Abaye says to Rabba, my dear Rebbe and uncle, I got what you were saying in year seven to year eight. That made sense to me. Pater from Aser, Chayev and Bior, when you picked it in year eight. But when you said initially that the planted or rather flowered in year six, I'll say Hanata for now. Hanata was year six. Lakita was year seven. Why did you turn both lights off? It should have been the exact opposite of what you said year seven to year eight. Namely, in year seven, we said Pater from Maser, Chayev and Bior. So the opposite should have been true when you move it back a year. Chayev and Maser, Pater in Bior. But that's not what you said. You said putter and maser and putter and beer. I understood the beer part. Why are you putter and beer? Because it's not really a Shemitah fruit. I picked it during Shemitah, but it was there from the year before. Unlike the rest of the fruits that are for sure new for year seven. So Rabba's answer is a curious answer. He says, well, the reason why I said it's putter, and that was, uh, I don't remember, yeah, Larry's point, just because the people don't behave and they're touching things they shouldn't, so now you're putter and maser, you own the, the tree, yeah? Uh, in year six, you owned it. Year seven, nobody owns anything. Year six, you owned the tree. So in year six, there was the chanata. So you picked it in year seven. So it's a year six fruit. That's why you could pick a basket of it. So you're chayv and maser. So Rabbi says, no. How come? 
Because unlike other kinds of trees, for whatever reason, I don't fully understand, the etrog tree uh, is, is very pretty. Uh, the lemon, oh, sorry, the etrog, I was going on topic. <laughs> Would you pick it? Just see if you're listening. But when you when you touch the tree, you wreck it. So I say your potter even in Maser. I give you potter in Maser. Yeah, so that's the question. And Rabbi's answer, which we'll, I'll try to understand a bit, bit more clearly, surely, hands are touching it in the Shemitah year in any case, therefore it's Hefger. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag about how the, that logic works, because after all, so what? The people don't behave. You still have chay, you still have a chiyuv. Yeah, we'll get there. So give, give, give me, give me two minutes. Let's see Rashi and Sai to fill out some of the picture. Okay. Yeah, people are touching. Who's status? Well, now you're getting to the answer of the Gemara. Yeah. Regardless of what its actual look and status might be, perhaps the fact that the people treat it with disrespect, I mean, inadvertently, right? They go to the orchard, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's I don't know what, there's, there's grapes over here, there's peaches over there, and then there's some metro game. So they touch all the trees. Right. Exactly. I'll take it. I got it right here. So it's, it's fresh. Fresh. So look with me in here, Rashi. It's a rather long Rashi. I'm going to buy Bishlam Seifa. Bishlam Seifa said a buy to Rab. It makes sense. The second thing he said, year 78, I got that. It's part of from Aser. Right? Why is it part of Aser? Because in year seven, when the Hanata happened, it didn't belong to anybody. Jeff, you with me over there online? We're good? Okay. So, Alma, Naga Bakidush at Shvit. Umichayev, Lafkura. So, therefore, it, you have to treat it with the Kedush of Shvit. And you have to do the Hefker of it called Bior, right? Vefkera, Turbi Mama Maser. The Masum of the Azala, Bater Hanata, Leinin Hefker Shvit. Because it sounds like we're going to follow Hanata. In terms of the hefker of Shvit, meaning in year eight, it has the Kedusha of Shvit and the hefker of Shvit, which in year eight, um, which means you're going to have to do the Bior. Again, the Bior is that your mafkir, whatever fruit you still have in your, in your house, when is considered to be the shot Bior of that given fruit. Ulinion, Bior Nami. Here we have it. Kitaka Amart. As you said, as it said, Hayavin Bior, you're obligated to Bior, Kol Hach Seifa. Throughout, you know, that's how it runs in the Seifa. Avogav, the Satra Law, Laresha. But even though that's that contradicts what you said in the Resha, again, it's a bias speaking to Rabbah. How come to Kamart, If you want to say this is a bias Havamina, we already know the answer, but you have to slow down the the uh you know the uh, the camera speed. A bias says to Rabbah, when I heard your seifa, I understood everything that follows Hanata. Since it follows Hanata, Hanata was in year seven, then in year eight, you have to do the your Pater from Maser, Chayv and Bior. But when I looked at the Resha, you must hold that everything follows Lakita, the picking, not the Hanata. How come? Because he said there's no Maser on this fruit, which at the Hanata was in year six, and the picking was in year seven. And you said you don't have to do the act of tithing. How come? It's in year seven that you took it. It's part of, you know, so, so, so which is it? Uh, 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 Bai says to Rabbah, do you hold it's Batar Hanata or do you hold Batar Likita? Sounded from the second piece that you said, it's Batar Hanata. The Hanata was in year seven. So uh, when you picked it in year eight, we're still referencing the fact of when the Hanata happened. But when I look at your mo your first example, year six into year seven, there you're saying if you picked it in year seven, you don't have to take Maser. How come? Isn't it Hanata was in year six when you did have a Chiv Maser? So it must be, you must hold, it goes Batar Likita. But he can't hold Batar Hanata and the Seifa and the race, hold Batar Likita, it's a Tartar to the Sajra. That's what he's asking him. The E loves the Shvid, Nagaba, Lava Miftara, the Hefkeira, the Shvid, Patala, Mimaser. Right? The fact that it was Shmita would not be Potter, right? Because it's really from the year before, Kitatanya, the Mechilta, as it says in the Mechilta, the Achlu Evione Amcha. As the beast eats and does not have to take maser, of Adam, meaning in the seventh year, Pater is also not obligated. So he says, you know, this is not a question for me. Because I say it must be that the whole thing that you're saying, Rabba, is that you have a suffix, whether an etrog is Pater Hanata, for Shvit, or whether it's Bater Lakita, Kimo Maser, because for Maser, it does go according to Lakita. But uh, we think, 
ואז את לחומרה, דשווית, דאורייתא היא, וספקת דאורייתא לחומרה. Yeah, you're, 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 uh, you, you must be going Sveika uh, Doraita Lechumra because Shmita is a mitzvah de Oraita. So you must be going Lechumra and you're you're kind of hedging on both sides. Maybe it really is from the year of Shmita. So you don't want to take tithes because it might really be from the year of Shmita. That's the year six and the year seven. And you don't want to take tithes seven and t- uh, uh, sorry, and you don't want to take tithes from seven to year eight because the Hanata was in year seven. So maybe it was Shmita here, maybe it was Shmita there. But that's not actually what Rabba is going to answer. Rabba is going to say to Bai, no, I don't have a, a lack of understanding here. And we're going to see it right now inside. So and he says, El Arisha, Abai says to him, the siyamt ba bitura mina biur, the kulahu. But how could you say a kula that you're putter from biur? That sounds like a big kula. If you want to go to Khumra, that you're putter from Maser when you did the Lakita, this is Abaye's mistaken understanding of what Rabba said. If you think everything goes according to Lakita, so then when you pick it in year seven, it goes according to Lakita, so there's no mass there. But if that's the year you picked it and it's associated with that year, you should have done the beer. How could you have both lights off, putter and putter, when it comes to both Maser and the beer? So, so, um, so, so that that that's the that's the basic the basic uh, 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 gist of it. And he says, Amai, the Amrinin Zil Bata Khanata, right? So Amai that says Rashi, Ashmina la ba. The law, misaf galach, right? Um, is, um, askan, uh, 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 but it sounds like, right, uh, uh, that you don't have a safek, that, that that you hold it's all butter chanata. Um, askan the race of a kula seifa. That time of the pshita lach, the butter chanata has lina. It sounds like you do hold actually uh, across the board. It follows chanata and not not uh, lakita, and therefore ihachi below masapka. You don't have a safek below nahaga shvit be etrog bat shvit. But she sheet, excuse me. You don't have any kind of shmita status for an etrog that had its chanata already in year six. So tithchayv b'maser, love hafker who? It's not really hafker because it's really the flowering, right? So what we're up to now again? I'm, pl- I'm I've gone back to the source code. That's what we're all doing in this year. So I told you outside of the end of the story is, but now we're sort of tracing it through. Abaye is saying uh, to Raba, um, it sounds like you don't have a suffix. You do think that everything follows chanata. I know you think that. So now, instead of my question being about um, why there was no chiyuv of biur year six into year seven in this etrog that you picked in year seven, why there's no biur? Now my question is, why is there no maser on the on the thing that you picked in year seven when the chanata was in year six? And then he answered, So Rashi, it's true that you're not obligated to do uh, a lafkura means the biur because there's no shvit. Status to it because it really had the chanat in your six. Miu, nevertheless, kol sedot sadot upardesot hefker heim bishvit vein etrog zani shmar ba levado va al korcho akom amash mashin bo ve hefker putter bin amaser. It's not that halachically I think says Rabbah that it, this this etrog in year seven actually is hefker. It's not. It is from year six. It is obligated in maser. There's one problem. Bal korcho. Everyone's going to show up in his field and touch it. And that shows that against his will, it's Hefker. And therefore, he's not Chayv and Maser. It's not that the people are deciding to, to say, we think the halacha is that it's, it should be Hefker. It's the said that's what happens. When that happens, it uproots the idea that this is my property. I don't have any control over it. That's what the people did. They come, they touch it, they take it, that's it. It's gone. Because it's year seven. Yes. And and by the by, yeah. I I mean I I was wondering about this Gemara, which I didn't see in the Rishonim. I was guys put up a sign. This is from, right. this is not Hefker. Yeah. This is mine. Yeah, but that's to make the most sense. It's not a given in the story. But that, it's not that, a given that, in the past. So, that, say that. Yeah. Hefker yeah. argument <laughs> would be true. I guess right. so. Okay, so the Etrog is the exception because it has longevity. Yeah. You wouldn't have that with. No, peaches. Sorry, with peaches. You. Yeah. you wouldn't have that with plums and other things. Figs, no, no. Just, just with this. Yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah. 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 Now, just to complicate matters a little, one more layer, because it's a Gemara share. Why, why should it be simple? <laughs> Rav Himnuna disagreed with Raba. He thought that this was not the correct way to go about it. And Rav Himnuna is about to say, I'll see your two models, six into seven and seven into eight, but I'll make it much simpler. I'm just going to say when it goes from year six into year seven, etrog, year six flowering, year seven, you pick it. It's everything about it is like the sixth year. 
Rav Himnuna says, I don't accept that premise that just because the people show up and they take your fruit, your, your etrog among the fruits, that it loses its status if you're six. So whatever you'll have left, that's what you have to tithe because it's a year six fruit. And you know why you don't have to do beer? Because it's not part of the seventh year. It, it lives still on the tree in year seven, but it really started growing in year six. And that's all we care about. If you notice says across the board, year six and year seven, everything about it is year six. And when it's year seven into year eight, everything about it is year seven, right? Meaning it's putter from uh, uh, from Maser because it uh, Hanata was in year seven, but it is Chayev in Bior. Why? Because it actually was a product of year seven, which is exactly the Seifa of Rabbah. Remember, Rabbah said year seven into year eight, Pater and Maser, Chayev and Bior. Rafi Nunu says year seven to year eight, Pater from Maser and Chayev and Bior. What's the Machlok of Rav Himnuna and Rabbah? In year six into year seven, Rav Him, Ra, Rabbah holds Pater, Pater. And Rav Himnuna holds Chai of Pater. Chai and Maser, Pater and Beer, because really it belongs to year six entirely. And what's the argument turning on? Okay, these people, these ruffians show up, or whoever they are, un- naive people, I don't know who they are. They're illiterate. They don't read hieroglyphs. Right. You put a little sign with a year six with a circle around it, you know, year seven with an X. They didn't care. They came in. They, took the, huh? they don't read the signs. What's the sign for? Not to ignore it. Okay, uh, Jeff has his hand raised. Jeff, go, please. How is um, Rav Havnuna is different from what Abai was saying earlier? So then he's saying the same thing that you have to have one or the other. You have to, you can't have Potter Potter. You have to have, you know, high of Potter. You know, uh, uh, essentially, yes. The difference is that Rabba seemed to be asking it as a clarifying question, and Rabba clarified his point to Abaye. Here, Rav Himnuna uh, is like a bar plukto who just has another view. And I, I should I should uh, mention also, uh, we'll see it inside now, Rav, 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 Rav Himnuna just tells you goes by the year. Like whatever year was the first of those two years, the process, the year of Hanata is determinative. Finished. That's what it, that's what it is. Regardless of, when you, regardless of when you pick it. And with Rabba, it was less clear if it was related somehow to when the picking happens also. Yeah, hmm. uh, versus the Hanata being two different years. Yeah, Larry, go ahead. Does that answer your question? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, please. Where's that in the process? Not involved. So it's not clear that the people are necessarily. Uh, well, actually, yeah, they, they may be over on Gazel, by the way. Yeah, this the Gazel. Yeah, it's accidental Gazel. Well, I, it's not like they're. They're not wearing a burglar mask and saying, let me take this, let me rob this guy's, you know, avocados. And it's, and it's Gazelle, it's Gazelle. Yeah, it's Gazelle. I mean, it's not gonna, gonna, it's not breaking in like a burglar sneaking in. They're like, everybody else is walking in. They're just taking stuff. These are vast orchards. It's not like it's in the guy's backyard and he's standing in his kitchen, you know, washing his ditches and he looks out the window. What's the person doing? It's a vast orchard. They don't see the end of it. It's, um, right? That's how these things happen. So look at the inside of Rav Himnuna. So Rav Himnuna, I'm back, I'm back in the Gemara now. Rav Himnuna now chimes in. It's uh, just after the halfway point of the page. First word on the line is Amart, Tichai Vamaser. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So, um, right. So th- that's what we see. It said, Rabbi said, Yara kol mimashu shinba, vat Amart, Tichai Vamaser. Everyone has their hands on it. You're telling me it has to do, have Maser? Everyone has their hands on it. It means it's Hefker. Yeah. So now, Rav Nuna Amar, Bachi Shishnech Nesel Ishvit, Leolam Shishit. All 70, 60 years. Ubat Shvit and Nichnas Lishmiri, seventh day, Lom Shvit. That's for sure across the board, the seventh year in, for all, all time. This one also has a challenge. Maitve, bring up a bright term. Shimon ben Yehuda, Omer, Mishimur, Mishimon. What does he say? Etrog bat Shishit, Shinichnasa, Nichnas at Lishvit, Peturam in a Maser, Upturam in a Beer. Bat Shishit, that's the whole issue of the Gemara. It's a six. It's it's in the sixth year was the Hanata, and in the seventh year you picked it. So this 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 Brayta says, "Ptura mina maser, uptura min habior." Father from both. That's just like Rabbah had said, right? And this is a Brayta, and now sort of Ram Himnuna is getting it because Ram Himnuna had not agreed with that idea. He had held everything's like year six. You're chayav in maser. Ram Himnuna just said that. So now the Gemara says to Rav Himnuna, not a Baye challenging 
Raba, now a, a Brita in the, the Stam of the Gemara, right? The, the language, the narrator of the Gemara, bringing up a Brita, excuse me, you said it's exactly year six. If the Hanata was in year six, everything about it, even if you picked it in year seven, is all year six. But we have Beferish Gemara saying, no, it's not. You're going to be Petur Amin Amaser, Petur Amin Abiyor. Here's another reason. You're only obligated in Maser if it grew with obligation and it was picked at a time of obligation. But when it was picked, it was not picked at a time of Chiyuv, but at a time of Shemitah. So when it when it grew, it grew in a time of Chiyuv for Maser, because that year is a year six, is a Maser year. In year seven, says this Brita, definitionally, there's no such thing as taking Maser. The concept doesn't apply. It doesn't matter when the fruit was from. It doesn't apply. It's Shabbos now. So there's no such thing. So so Ubat Shvi, in the next case, Ubat Shvi, Shinichnaset Lishminit, there's still the Brita, uh, uh, something that has a fruit, again, Hanata in year seven, picked it in year eight, Betura in Maser, your putter from the Maser, and here's a Chiddush, Uptura Min Habior. Your putter from both. How come? She'en L'chadava Shachai Habior, Elohim Kain, Gadal Bishvit, Benilkat Bishvit. So, you have no such thing as anything that is obligated in Bior, just like we said, no such thing Yechayv in Maser, and no such thing Yechayv in Bior, unless it grew and it was picked in the seventh year. Bior is a concept related to the Shabbos Haaretz called Shemitah. It's not Shemitah now. It's nothing inherent in the fruit that remains. Shabbos ended, so there's no Bior now. How come there's no Maser? Because it grew in the seventh year, now it's the eighth year. And again, unlike the figs or the whatever, that aren't going to stay in the field anyway, they're gone. But the etrog keeps on going to the new year. So the Gemara here now asks, wait a second, Reisha Kashi Rav Himnuna, Seifa Kashi Abain Lerav Abain Lerav Himnuna, right? The Reisha is a challenge to Rav Himnuna because the Reisha said, Pater Pater, just like Rabbah had said earlier. But it's a Kashi to Rav Himnuna because Rav Himnuna was of the opinion that everything follows the sixth year. Chayav and Maser and Pater from Bior. But the Mishnah, the Brighter rather, it said, Pater Pater. Or Petura Petura. And uh and and then the the the, the case seven into eight, right? That's uh Petura Petura. So that sounds like you're saying it's Batar Hanata in that case. So that's a, the, the safety is Kashi the Rabbah, right? Uh, uh as we saw earlier. So the Gemara is kind of oh, wait a second, what are we gonna do with this? And it's a Kashi for both, actually, because uh seven to eight, they'd actually matched, right? Rafim Nuna had said. Tura and Chayavet. Tura b'maser and Chayavet b'biur. That's Rav Himnuna. It's exactly what Rabbah said before. But what it says here is Petura Petura. So how do they reconcile what is written in a Brita? Remember, Brita's are Mishnayas that didn't make it. They're on the level of a Mishnah, but they're not the Mishnah. Okay? That's what it is. Brita outside. Yeah? Brita means it's standing outside. It's external. It didn't, it's not the Mishnah, so redacted as the Mishnah, but we still have to reckon with it. Just because it didn't get passed into the Mishnah, it's totally rejected. It didn't make the grade to be an actual Mishnah, but it's from that era. So the Amurai, I'm trying to figure out, so how did you uh, go against the Brita? You have to reconcile it. So the Gemara says, Tanoihi. The truth is, this is already a Machloket among the Tanoim. Uh, where is it a Machloket among the Tanoim? So it quotes it here. That it's uh, 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 quoted in various places. Uh, uh, you have it here in the Sort of Shas. Uh, and it's a and it's a sefta masachet shvit the end of parak gimel. So what does it say? I'm a Rabbi Yosi of Tumus heid mishum chamisha zekenim etrog acher lekitato lemaser. According to of to of Tumus, a uh, uh, name of five zekenim, the etrog follows the picking when it comes to maser, right? Uh, 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 who had said that previously? Rabbi Gamliel, we saw that Rabbi Gamliel. So so he holds. He holds uh, that that's Batah Hanada. But what happens after that? Right? Batah Lakita, I mean. Right? Virabotenu nimnu be'ushav amru achal lakita to. Everything goes according to when you pick it. Bein l'ma'asa, bein l'shvit. So if you look at this, j- just this, this little, these last four lines, the Gemara itself asks about this Brita. Wait, shvit mandakar shmei. Because the first line that we have here, where Avtulmu, Rabbi Yossi quotes that Avtulmus, Quoted in the name of five zikanim, Etrog follows the Lakita for Maser. And then it says, and the rabbis say, it goes according to uh, uh, Lakita, we follow the Lakita for Maser and Shvit. The Gemara says, Shvit Mandakar Shmei. Why did you bring up Shvit at all? So the Gemara uses one of its um, uh, stylistic uh, uh, strategies, if you will, 
to clarify something, because don't forget, everything's handwritten in the trying to Chasuri Machsara. Something's missing from the Brita, the Tosef in this case. Let us fill it in. So turn to page 15b. We'll see what gets filled in. Chasuri Machsara. No, this is what the Brita should really say. Etrog follows Lekita when it comes to Maser. When you picked it, that's when you're Chayv Maser. However, when it comes to Shemitah, it goes according to whenever it flowered. You picked it in the seventh year. The Chanata was in the sixth year. So what is it? Are you Chayv and Maser? Well, it's from the sixth year. But with Etra, it goes when you picked it. And you picked it in the seventh year. So you're putter from the, the Masra. Why? Because you picked it in the seventh year. But the for Shvid purposes... The Hanata, it goes, it was in the sixth year. So your putter from the mat, from the beer, and you could just eat it. Remember, Ptura, Ptura, there was a line like that. Rabba had said that. And then we just had uh, we just had that brighter that had said that in the name of Rabbi Shimon. You're six into year seven, Ptura, Ptura. Now we see, oh, there's a source for that idea. But Rabbi but the rabbis, meaning the plurality of rabbis in Usha, disagreed. What did what did they say? Begamru, the word, the letter of says Begamru, I mean, they decided. It goes according to when you pick it, whether it's for Maser or whether it's for Shvit. In other words, uh, when you pick it in the seventh year, you don't have to do Maser. How come? Because it's year seven. And when you pick it in the seventh year, does it need Bior? Sure it does. Why? Because the picking was in year seven. That's what the sages say. Yeah? So so in other words, we, we sort of found a, a, a source that's going to give us this basic idea uh, maybe of Rabbi Shimon. That's according to the Dat Yachid of, of Tumos, maybe the five Zikani we were with them, but most of the rabbis seem to disagree. They think it's going to be uh Kitato for Maser and for Shvit, i.e., you picked it in the seventh year, you put it for Maser. But you picked it in the seventh year, you're obligated in the in the Bior. Yeah. So uh so who says that among Rabbah and among uh, Rav Himnuna, right? You're you're six into year seven. The answer is nobody. The Chachamim say that. Not like Rabbah, not like Rav Himnuna. So now we come to Rabbi Yochanan Reish Lakish. So Itmar, we learn Rabbi Yochanan Reish Lakish. Ami Tarvayo Etrik Bat Shishit Nachsal Shvit La Olam Shishit. It's always going to be like the sixth year. Chayv and Maser Pater from Bior because that's that's it goes according to uh, to uh, to Chanata. Ki Ata Ravin when Ravin showed up in Bavel from Eretz Yisrael because Reish Lakish and Rabbi Yochanan lived in, in Eretz Yisrael. He brought the Torah of Rabbi Yochanan. He brought to the Babylonian Chachamim. I'm Rabbi Yochanan. He said Rabbi Yochanan. Even if it grew just a tiny bit of the fruit in the sixth year, it became a loaf, means a big thing, in um, in the seventh year. It's obligated in Tavel, meaning you have to take Maser. You have to take Maser. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah. Yeah, right. It's not Kanata. It's it grew into it even fruit. a small fruit. In the sixth year. Right. Which begs it's the question. Fruit. Right. Which begs the question. What if the Kanata was right before Rosh Hashanah going to Shemitah? And none of the fruit grew in the sixth year. Sounds like then it would all go according to the seventh year. Be the seventh year. So somehow this last opinion, you're right. Like, where's Hanata in this last opinion? It's, it's implied because if it was the size of It must of have been, right. Then obviously it had Hanata. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But Larry's asking, what if the Hanata happened eight minutes before sunset uh, in Elul? Now it's the year Shemitah started. And now the first bit of the fruit grew a week into Tishrei, in Shemitah. Yeah. So how can you say go to the Hanata? It's not what it sounds like it's saying, right? It's not what it sounds like it's saying. Yeah, right. Try not to eat a natural. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe that's the solution. Try not to eat a natural. Uh, talk it. It could. It, it could be. It could be. It could be. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you see it all playing out right here. Yeah. So. 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 Um. Uh. Um. The. The. The idea here. Uh. Is. Is. Uh. In fact, that we're trying to understand when it. Uh, when it uh, obtains that it's. Sixth year, when it's seventh year, follow me in Rashi a little bit, just to fill out some of the pieces here in Rashi. Go back to page 14a. We have here the piece with Rav Himnuna. 
It's uh, in the narrow lines, uh, about eight line, ten lines up. In the narrow lines, first two words on the line of Rashi, Mina Maser. Then the Brahmat Kurav, Yimnuna Amar the Olam Shishi. Chayva Maser. You're obligated in Maser. The Kaven, the Shvit, Lona Agaba, Vlav Hefkeira, the Malkihi, Mishmus Yada Kol Sheba, Eino Ella, Gazel. Vain Hefker Kizep, Tur Mina Maser. If those people are going to take fruits, that's called stealing. It's not really making you didn't decide it's half care. They took from you. That's thievery. Still chayven maser. According to Rav Yimnuna, year six into uh, into year seven. Meitve. Then we had the, the this other brighter Rav Shimon ben Yehuda Omer. He said, quote the name of Rav Shimon. Halia sinu the safta. Shein lechala shein lecha shechayv maser eli in kain gadal bechiyuv v'nilkat bechiyuv. Because we have this idea of the safta. You need a continuity. When it grew and when you picked it, it have to be the same year. If it's two different years, no chiyuv maser automatically. And uh, therefore, no chiyuv biur is either. It was safer garcina, first of the uh, uh, wider lines. It was safer garcina. Shein lecha shechayev bebiur elin kain gadabish shvid milkad bishvid. Beresha de milte at the beginning of the statement. Yaiv taima that brought the idea or offered the idea. Leptura de maser lefishot siu michlal shar ilanot. Most trees go according to Chanata, right? So maybe, therefore, we're going to get it out of being Maser because it's not like the other trees. Maybe here it's not like other trees. It doesn't go by Chanata. Maybe it goes according to Lakita. Therefore, it's not Chayev in Maser for that reason. Lefira, who's called Tanli Dvarav, had to explain its, his rationale. We're explaining it like Rabba now. Hefker Damalka means that the king made it Hefker. The king made it Hefker means when the year of Shemitah came, the king, Kodesh Baruch Hu, makes it all Hefker. But there's no Hefker or Damalka on something from the sixth year. So, this, so it's like, there's no Hefker or Damalka who cave into Sof, Sof, Yadakum Turim in Maser. But the truth is, the end of all things, the reality is, everybody's touching it and putting their hands on it. That makes it part of Maser. The Torah, the Beer, Lo Yitzrich Lamech of Taima. We don't have to give the reason and the rationale for the fact that you're Patrick from Beer. How come? Because it's not separated out when it comes to the issue of Bior. It's not different than other trees. All the other trees goes according to Chanata. All the other trees, the Chanata happens in year seven. And then you're obligated in the Bior. But this one didn't happen in year seven. The Seifa Yaiv Taima, Liftura, the Bior. And the Seifa you had to explain why there's a Ptura for Bior. The Liftura, the Maser. Ha'ashmi'in and Taima, the Chayvu, Chachami, the Maser. They didn't grow with chiv because it grew in the seventh year. Therefore, in the eighth year, again, back to that that idea that you don't have to do the the biur because it grew in year seven and uh, and the two the two years uh, 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 there's two separate years. So Eli and Cain the Artsecha when it said that in Parshat Behar um, It says specifically biur is in year seven. And not in year eight. Remember, that was part of the rationale that was offered at one point. Everything follows year seven. If it was if flowering was in year seven, everything follows year seven. How come? Because the Torah, when it wants to talk about Beor, says it's in the seventh year. It's the eighth year now. Who cares what the fruit is, status is? Shabbos is over. No one's doing the Beor now. Doesn't obtain. Sefer Kasseh, Bein the Rabbah, Bein the Rabbah, Yinuna. The Sefer, the second part here, that in the seventh year into the eighth year, you're going to say everything follows the seventh year. You're Pater from Matzer, Pater from Beor. That's a kashia. Bein the Rava, bein the Rav Yimnuna. That her fire, bater chanata azli b'shvit ubat shvit shnechas lishmit chayv biur. They held the yuchayv and biur in the eighth year. The ha lo poli Rav Yimnuna ad Rava el abavat shishit shnechas lishvit because the abachlok at Rava and Rav Yimnuna was sixth year into the seventh year. Where Rava held sixth year into the seventh year, putter from Maser and putter from Biur. And Rav Yimnuna wanted to argue sixth into the seventh year, chayv and Maser and putter and Biur. But they didn't argue in in year seventy or eight. And here. Uh, uh, therefore, there's a kasha from this uh, this brayta that says that you don't have to do beer in the eighth year. So the gemara here made recourse. We said to tanai tanaihi hi tana poligalayu betanachrina kai kavatayu. One of the tanaim here argues on this Rabbi Shimon's point. Your six versus your seven is the hard and fast rule. The other one agrees with it. The tanya, as we learn, halachim but the seventh in the masechet shviit. I'm Rabbi Yosi of Tumos. He eat mishum chamisha zekenim etrog achal lekita the masev. Rabbi Tenu nimnu beusha begamru etrog achal lekita be lemas be mishviit. Right? We said there was something wrong there in that in the girsa that we was being quoted. Shit man dekar shmei dekamar the imnu ala Rabbi Tenu ame ika demand the polig. If it says the sages nimnu begamru means they 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 enumerated it and they means they talked about it and they decided it. 
So it means there must have been a machloket to make a decision about something. But in the original statement, Rabbi Yossi quoting Avtulmus, who spoke in the name of some, some five anonymous Zikanim, it didn't mention Shmiyat Shmita at all. So when we turn the page, that's where the Gemara said, no, because that was missing that part. Should have said that part as well. It's Chisuri Machsara. So you look in Rashi, Chisuri Machsara. I'm looking in Rashi now, yeah? Uh, uh, I'm a Rabbi Yossi. Of Tulmus, Hey, Mishum, Chamish, is the Kenim, Etrog, Rai Echar, Lakita, Lamaser, Achar, Hanato, the Street, Rabatin, Nevusha, Gamru, Etrog, Lakita, Ben Lazar, in the Street. So, Achi Perusha. This is what the explanation of this whole thing. Etrog, Achar, Lakita, Lamaser. Etrog goes according to when you picked it, and for Maser, leaving the Chalash Vyashan. What what basket it's in? The new year or the old year? Well, the Indian, Shinin, Chesli, Shlishi. The second year into third year. Oh, Shlisha Ravid, or third year into fourth year, right? Maser Ani, Maser Shani, Maser Ani, Maser Ani, Maser Shani. But it goes according to Chanata for Shmita, Bain the Hefker, Bain the Bior. For all that. Kishari Lanot. Ubachvid and Chanatul Shmit, Hefkeri he potra in a Maser. It's Hefker. The Ilul in a Maser, Bisha Arshne Shavua, and other years, the seven years of Shmita, Azul Beira Banabat of the Kita. It's true the Chachamim will hold that everything falls for Etrog when you actually picked it. The Gabi Chadash Vyashan. Umaser Shani Umaser Ani. We shim the dark li gadol kumayim kiyar. It's like a vegetable for the, all the other years. Vach mefarish bishmaita kamaita the kiddushin. We have this daf gimel amidalf in kiddushin. We discuss this. Aval lishar dvarav for all other matters not related to Maser itself in the other years of shmita, but for other things shavali ilan. And in that case, for all other things, it goes batar. Hanata, meaning when it's the year of Shemitah, unlike years one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to say, when did you pick it? That's what basket it's in, whether it's the second year or the third year or the third year or the fourth year. So there's going to be Matzah Shani, Matzah Ani. In Shemitah, none of that, because we go according to the Hanata that it goes from the year before, uh, when, uh, meaning year six. Uh, and it is Chayv and Matzah. The Rav of Rav Sfira Lahu, Kavtumus, they hold like Kavtumus. The Amar Bata Hanata the Shvit. And the seventh year goes according to Hanata. Hilkach bat shvit nechnas l'shminit chayavet bebior bat shishit nechnas l'shvit petura mina bior they don't have to bior the azul bat chanata umiflege pligi rabba rav himnuna bemilte da avtulmos beha rav himnuna then here's where rabba and rav himnuna would argue within avtulmos again avtulmos who who holds that actually in this uh, in this case the etra goes according to lekita for maser and chanata for shvit. So uh, here's the argument. Rav Himnuna Savar, Kevin Ptura, Mina Biur, Chayevet Bemaser, the love of Kara de Malkehi. If you're going to say you're Pater in, uh, in, in Biur, you're certainly Chayevet Maser, because it means you own it. The Rabbah Savar, Sof Sof, Yada Kol Maser, Sin, Umodo of Tumas de Ptura Mina Maser. Since everyone's putting their hands on it, of Tumas just saying practically, there's no Maser that you have to give uh, because everyone touches it. And therefore, it's, their grubby hands go all over it. And then they've shown it to be Hafgar, even though it's Gazel that they're actually performing. So the Gemara had said, Olam Shishit, yeah, Shishit, Chayavet Bemaser Uptura Mina Biur. Really, it's like a Shishit goes according to Chanata. So in the seventh year, you're obligated in Maser and Pater from Biur. Afilu Kazayit, Afilu Godla Beshishit Elab Me'at, Veruba Godla Beshvit, Achenazit Kikar, Kikar is a loaf. Chayavet misum tevel the batar chanata azlinan. We actually follow according to chanata. Not can for tonight. Baruch Hashem. We're just getting through Gemara Rashi. It's so labyrinthine to try to figure all this out with what's this and that. So I've spared you most of the Rishonim, but mark my words, it's yet more complex than even we have seen. And maybe next week we'll see a little bit of it. We'll see what happens. If that doesn't bring you back next week, I don't know what will. <laughs> next week, same same bad time, same bad channel. I'd count for tonight.